OpenAI was initially founded in 2015 by some of Silicon Valley's most powerful and influential figures. The founding team included Sam Altman, the ex-head of the most successful startup incubator in history, Y Combinator, Elon Musk, the world's richest man, Reid Hoffman, the billionaire founder of LinkedIn, and Peter Thiel, one of the most powerful investors in Silicon Valley and the first investor to invest in Facebook, turning his $500,000 initial investment into billions of dollars. OpenAI's founding team also included some of the smartest minds in computing, such as Ilya Saskova, who before founding OpenAI was working on cutting-edge air research at Google's Brain Project, and Greg Brockman, the former CTO of Stripe, one of the largest online payment processors in the world. The OpenAI team was made up of some of Silicon Valley's wealthiest and brightest minds and it had massive goals. Initially set up as a non-profit organization with the stated goal to advance digital intelligence in a way that is most likely to benefit humanity as a whole, they aim to build cutting-edge safe AI and make it accessible to the whole world for free. The OpenAI founders didn't want the world's most sophisticated AI to end up in the hands of a few elite groups of people, or worse, in the hands of a hostile government. Instead, they wanted everyone in the world to benefit from artificial intelligence. But just a mere 9 years later, OpenAI is unrecognizable from what it was when it began. With its latest product, ChatGPT+, costing $20 per month, effectively gatekeeping the latest and greatest AI to those who can afford it. A far cry from their founding mission, which promised to make AI open and freely accessible. In addition, OpenAI is no longer a non-profit, receiving $10 billion in investment from Microsoft, the world's most valuable company. The privatization of OpenAI makes it no different from the plethora of AI companies seeking to create sophisticated AI to simply profit from it. This privatization of OpenAI led to Elon Musk suing it for betraying its founding mission. OpenAI's departure from its founding purpose has caused all sorts of internal issues, which reached a critical point when OpenAI CEO Sam Altman was fired in November 2013 following an orchestrated ousting by a high-ranking OpenAI employee. But this wouldn't last for long as Sam Altman would be rehired just a few days later, fueling concerns about the unstable and potentially problematic leadership of OpenAI. This is the story of how greed and power turned a humanity-focused non-profit into a greedy corporation exploiting AI technology for profit. How the hero became the villain. When OpenAI was founded, its various founders pledged over $1 billion to the venture. Although only 10% of this money would ultimately be collected, it was more than enough of a war chest to fund OpenAI's ambitious projects. During the first few years, OpenAI focused on foundational research and development in the field of artificial intelligence. In 2016, they released OpenAI Gym, which was a platform for reinforcement learning, and a year later in 2017, they released a bot for Dota 2 that was capable of beating top Dota players. In 2018, the first signs of trouble would begin to emerge. Following Tesla's poaching of top OpenAI researcher Andre Kapathy, Elon Musk resigned from the board of directors of OpenAI, citing a conflict of interest, which some ultimate would contradict, claiming that Musk believed OpenAI had fallen behind other players like Google and that Musk had proposed to take over OpenAI himself, which the board rejected. So in anger, Musk would choose to resign from OpenAI. Soon after Elon's departure, OpenAI would undergo a transformation going from a non-profit to a capped for-profit company. This structure allowed for investment into OpenAI but capped the return on investment to 100 times the initial investment. The first investment under this new structure was Microsoft who invested $1 billion. OpenAI's main reason for doing this was to raise capital to pay its employees more money so that they could retain the best engineering talent in the field of AI, stopping them from going to big tech firms like Google and Facebook who were offering very lucrative compensation packages for top A talent. Then in 2021, OpenAI released DALI, a text-to-image model developed using deep learning methodologies to generate digital images from natural language descriptions. While the first version of DALI was a little rough around the edges, its latest iteration is mind-blowing, dramatically reducing the skill a person needs to create beautiful imagery. Then in 2022, OpenAI broke the internet when they released ChatGPT, an AI chatbot that would become the fastest growing 
app in the history of the internet, amassing over 100 million users in just two months. OpenAI was on a blazing path to AI dominance since its transformation into a capped for-profit company. It projected revenues of $200 million in 2023 and $1 billion in 2024, but this still wasn't enough for OpenAI's ambitious goals. In January 2023, it was announced that OpenAI was in talks with potential investors to raise capital. Just a few months later, in March of 2024, OpenAI announced a $10 billion investment from Microsoft, a deal that made Microsoft a 49% shareholder in OpenAI and gave them the right to 75% of its profit until the initial investment had been paid back. Microsoft's massive investment symbolized the complete transformation of OpenAI from a non-profit humanity-focused organization to a for-profit money-focused corporation. Something major had changed in the years following the founding of OpenAI. Something deep to its foundational mission was no longer there, and the breakneck speed at which it was advancing was starting to raise some serious concerns. Remember, OpenAI had two important pillars of its founding doctrine. The first one was its humanity focus, which was betrayed when they began commercializing their products, and the second one was safety. They wanted to build safe AI that couldn't be used for nefarious purposes. But ever since they became a for-profit, their speed of product launches indicated that the priority was no longer safety, but speed. This more lenient approach to AI safety began to worry senior members of OpenAI, the most prominent of which was Ilya Sitskova its chief scientist. Ilya accused Sam Altman of not being transparent with the board of OpenAI and lying about certain things that were going on at OpenAI. He questioned whether Sam Altman was the right person to lead the company, so he approached the board with his concerns and began to orchestrate the ousting of Sam Altman as CEO. His plan was initially successful until it was revealed that the majority of the OpenAI employees were not on board with this decision, with many of them threatening to leave the company. The internal anger was so intense that just a few days after he was fired, Sam Altman was rehired, back at the head of the world's most important company. Elias Escovo's revolt caught everyone by surprise, especially since he and Sam Altman were known to be very good friends. For him to want Sam fired meant Ilya must have had very serious concerns. Concerns so serious that he was willing to ruin his friendship with Sam Altman. Not only that, but he also convinced the majority of the OpenAI board to vote in his favor and fire Sam Altman, which raises serious questions. How egregious were Sam Altman's actions for him to be fired? And what will the consequences of his return to OpenAI be? Will OpenAI's greed and prioritization of speed over safety have disastrous consequences. OpenAI has radically changed from its founding mission. In just a few years, it went from a hero meant to save us from AI doom to a villain intent on making as much money as possible from AI.